Assalamu alaikum. Tonight's name is Al Latif. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al Latif. This is one of my favorite names of Allah. And it means that Allah is subtle. What does that mean? Subtle. It means that Allah can do things, beautiful things, in really sneaky ways that nobody else realizes. If you think to some of the stories that you know from the Qur'an, you'll see what I mean. Like the story of Joseph, Yusuf. Joseph began his story with a dream. In this dream, he was somebody who everybody loved and honored and respected. But what happened after he had that dream? All of his brothers, or most of them, were jealous of him. And so they ganged up on Joseph and they threw him into a well. They thought he was just going to stay there until he died. Joseph couldn't understand how did he have this dream he was supposed to have such a bright future and now he's stuck in the bottom of a well and he doesn't know how to get out. But he trusted Allah, al Latif, the one who is subtle, the one who can make things happen in hidden beautiful ways. And then people come along and they take Joseph out of the well, but guess what? They sell him as a slave in a foreign land where he wasn't, he wasn't from. He didn't know anybody there. And so it seems like Joseph's even further away from his dream, his destiny, what he wanted. And then after that, he's put in jail. And he's there for a long time, waiting and waiting. But Joseph never lost faith. He knew that Allah is al Latif. And he knew that even the bad things that happen to us in our lives, they happen with a reason behind them. They happen for a reason and a good one. As long as we are good people, as long as we are good Muslims, Allah is going to take care of us. And Allah is going to make those things that are hard actually the stepping stones that we have to walk on in order to get to the other side, to get to where we want to go. And sure enough with Joseph, that's exactly what happened. While he was in jail, the king of that land had a dream and nobody could understand or interpret the dream except for Joseph. So when Joseph interpreted the dream and it was a really important dream, then they took him out of jail and they made him one of the ministers. They gave him power and responsibility and honor. And then Joseph's brothers have to come back to him and they have to ask him for help. At first they don't recognize him, but eventually they do. And Joseph saves them. He saves them from hunger. He gives them what they need. Look at how Allah so beautifully and simply took Joseph through all of these stages, these chapters, to get him to the end. Allah could have made it happen all at once, all of a sudden, directly, right away. But that wouldn't have been nearly as beautiful and that wouldn't have been nearly as miraculous or powerful. And so Allah al Latif, He's the one who brings about good things in small, hidden, subtle ways. Guess what? You're not too, too different from Joseph. Allah has a plan for you. And Allah wants good things for you, just like He wanted for Joseph. And you're in this life on a path and you can't necessarily see what's going to come next. But if you're a good Muslim and you believe and you do your best, Allah is going to take care of you. Allah al Latif is going to help give you those small, hidden, secret steps to get to the great place that you belong. That's all for tonight. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.